When we look at electron geometry, we need to look at all of the things bonded to the central atom. In this case, that's this carbon right here. So we can see that there are one, two things bonded, and there's no lone pairs. So we just have two things. We're going to have a linear electron geometry for HCN. Turns out this is also the molecular geometry for HCN. But let's look at this in three dimensions. So we have that hydrogen with a single bond, and then we have a triple bonded nitrogen. And you can see they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. That gives us a linear electron geometry. Since there aren't any lone pairs on the central carbon, that's also the molecular geometry. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So to recap, we have that carbon there in the center. We have two things bonded to it, no lone pairs on the carbon, so those spread out. They give us that linear electron geometry. Since we don't have any lone pairs on that carbon, it's also the molecular geometry for HCN. This is Dr. B taking a look at the electron geometry for hydrogen cyanide, HCN. Thanks for watching.